Hello world, welcome back to my channel. I am Sahil and I am developing an e-commerce project using Laravel 10 and in previous video you have seen that how I have set up Laravel 10 framework and also created models and migration for this project. Now in this video I am going to start developing admin panel of e-commerce project using filament PHP version 3. So let's start. So this is the project and in previous video I have created models and migration but I forgot to migrate all the migrations. So first I will migrate all the migrations. So to migrate just write php artisan migrate command and hit enter. Now it is asking would you like to create it. So I am using sqlite database. So we have to create a database.sqlite file inside this database directory. So if I just write yes, then it will create it automatically and also all migration will uh, create inside this database.sqlite file. Okay, if you just open this file, then here you can see all the tables are generated like users, category, brand, product, orders, order items, addresses. Okay, close this file and now let's open php artisan serve and go to the browser open the project so here you can see the welcome page now to start developing admin panel first we need to install filament php version 3 so to install filament uh, php let's first open filament php.com so this is the web official website of filament php now click on get started and again click on get started and in panel builder this is the installation section and we have to use this command to install filament php so just copy this command and open a new terminal here so i will use this split and just hit enter this command will install filament php in this project okay so you can see filament php installation completed now we just have to copy this command to install filament php so just hit enter now it is asking for the id so i will write admin and like no now you can see filament php uh, installed successfully in this project if you just come here and write slash admin then you will redirect to the login page okay so let's wait now here you can see this is the login page okay now before login we have to create a user for the admin access so here you can see there is another command php addition make hyphen filament hyphen user so i will copy this command and in vs code just paste now it will ask name so i will write admin and in email address i will write admin at the red gmail.com and in password i will write admin okay now you can see user has been created now if i come here and write the credential and click on sign in oh, we have to reload this page and click on sign in again okay so here you can see this is the dashboard page of filament php okay with some widgets and if if you click on this uh, avatar then you can see uh, the name of the user and also you can switch dark theme or light theme okay and from here you can sign out okay so uh, let me first show you go to this app directory and this providers directory there is a folder created filament and inside this there is a file admin panel provider okay so using this admin panel provider you can uh, modify the uh, admin panel dashboard page okay so in case you don't want these widgets uh, here so in this file you can see this is the widgets area so suppose i want to hide this widget so i have to just comment this line and reload the page so here you can see this widget is now uh, removed from this dashboard page and 
and for now i'm not going to work on this dashboard page uh, today in this video i'm going to show you how to work on user resources okay user resource sorry okay so to make a new resource you just have to click on this resource and to create a new resource just use this command and go to here open the terminal paste the command and here we have to write the name of the resource so i will write user and hit enter now it will create a new file so let me show you where the file is created so if you go to app directory then this filament directory there is a resource directory under this resource directory there is a file user resource created and inside this resources directory there is another folder created user resource and this contains uh, three file inside pages directory okay so we will not touch these files for now okay uh, i will work on this user resources page only okay so let's uh, let's come here and first reload the page okay so here you can see the user navigation is displaying here if you click then you can see we are on users page okay now let's make some changes so first i will change this icon okay so here to change the icon i will use user icon group okay if i save this and reload this page then you can see user icon is showing now you can uh, get this icon from hero icons so if you go to heroicons.com then you will find many icons if you want any icon suppose this in this icon bold icon so just copy this one and you have to write before this o hyphen and reload then you can see this bold icon okay so filament php using hero icons under the hood okay so you can use any icons from here okay close this and let's go to vs code save and reload again it's showing user icon now let's uh, go to the create user page so here you can see no form is showing so let's create the form first so in user resources you can see there is a method form is defined here and inside this schema we have to design our form so first i will use text input text input okay text input make and i will use name okay and this is a required field so i will use required we have to import sorry you can also write forms forms slash component components and then text input and if we now reload this page then you can see a name field is showing here okay similarly we will also create email and uh, password field so let's come here and then again i will use form component text input make email and then uh, i will use email and then required okay i will also i can also use label label here email email address okay and i can use max length 255 and this is a unique field so i have to write unique unique and here i will use ignore ignore record ignore records true okay now if you go to the browser and reload then you can see this is the email id email address field okay Similarly, we will also create email verified at. 
so forms forms component sorry component components and then i will use date time picker date time picker and then make email verified at and label email verified at and by default by default i will use now method to populate current timestamp in this field okay now if i go here and reload then you can see email verified at and uh, i will not make this required field okay now next i will use password field so for password field i will use forms component components and then text input text input okay so make password uh, if make the name of the column is same uh, and also if you want to keep the label same then there is no need to use this label okay and this is a password field so just write password here and i will not use autocomplete okay instead i will use dehydrated d h y d r a t d dehydrated and in dehydrated i will use fn state fn state field state okay and i will make this uh, field required only in create user page not in edit user page okay so for this here mm, i will write fn and then sorry fn page and here write live wire live wire and this will return a boolean value and here i will write live wire instance of instance of create record create record okay now if i save this and go to the browser and reload okay text input is not found okay, so i have make typo here reload the page okay now you can see password which and this is required okay now let's try to create an user so i'm just try to remove the password and create so you can see this is required so we have to write password one two three four five and click on create so you can see user created successfully and it is redirected to the edit user page now now let's uh, design this uh, table so if i come back here then this is a table method in columns i will define i will define text column text column okay just write tables and then columns columns and then text text column and then just write make and the name of the column so name and i will make this searchable searchable column and next column will be uh, email so just write tables columns make email and this is also searchable and next column will be email verified and this will be also a text column so just write text column and i will make this a date date time column so just write date time okay and i will make this sortable okay if i come here and reload then you can see name email email verified okay 
now next we can also display created at and updated at so let's come here and write tables columns and text column text column make created at date time sort table and i will not use default sort so just remove this save if i reload then you can see the created at column okay now let's come here in action so right now only showing one action that is edit if i click then you can see we are redirected to the uh, edit user page okay and from here we can uh, modify and update the user but i want to show more actions so here i will use tables tables actions and here i will also use view action view action and i will also use delete action okay so i will move this up now if i come here and reload then you can see three actions are now visible here if i click on view then in model you can see the info of the user like name email id email verified and password and if i click delete then it is showing a confirm dialog box okay suppose i want to delete this then if i click on delete and click on confirm then this user has been deleted you can also uh, combine these uh, three uh, action in a group okay so to combine all in a group you just have to cut all and just write action group okay just write tables tables actions and action group action group okay and then i will use make and in array i will pass all the action okay now if i reload here you can see three dotted menu if i click then you will be visible uh, view edit and delete okay so that's it for this video in next video we will see how to work on category and brand resources so see you soon in next video